Hello, my name is Martin McTernan and today I'm going to show you how to grip the golf club correctly. The grip is one of the most important fundamentals in golf. It allows you to be able to square the club face. It allows you to be able to create speed through flexing and extending the wrist and it also helps you hit the ball more solid. So I'm going to start now with the left hand grip and show you how to put that on correctly. I like to see the club held in the fingers on the left hand with the heel pad on top. What I mean by that is, I like to see the club running from the middle of the left index finger down through the base of the fingers and this heel pad sitting on top of the club. Too many golfers I see have the club running through the palm of the club and this robs them of any speed that they can generate through their wrist. A good drill I like to see golfers do to get this position of the left hand is to take the grip and take the club and hold it in the left index finger, take all the other fingers off and have the heel pad sitting on top of the club like this. If the club can balance in this position, it now means the heel pad is on top and the golfer has got the club sitting in the fingers. The golfer will now close the fingers off, the thumb should sit down just right of middle and I also don't like to see that thumb stretch down the grip. Keep it nice and short. And this then will emphasize the grip being held with the last three fingers of the left hand. And also these fingers should run at 90 degrees to the grip. The grip can either be on strong, neutral or weak. The best way to check to see if your grip is strong, neutral or weak, is to hold the club in your left arm and put it straight out in front of you until the back of your left wrist and your forearm is flat. If the club face is aligned neutral to the back of the left hand and the, and the forearm, this will ensure that the grip is now neutral. If I held the club out in this position, and the toe was pointing down with my left wrist and forearm flat. The grip would be on very weak. And also, if the toe was pointing up into the sky with the back of my left wrist and forearm flat, that would create a very strong grip. I personally like to see the golfer with a slightly stronger than normal grip with the toe just pointing up into the sky a little bit. I think this represents the golfer's best chance to hit the golf ball solid and straight. So now that we have the left grip on correctly, we're now going to take the right hand and we're going to match the lifeline of the right hand up to the left thumb which is already on the grip. We're then going to get the pad of the right thumb sitting on top of the left thumb with the thumb running across the shaft at about 45 degrees and sitting just left of middle, the crease formed between the right thumb and the index finger should be pointing towards your right shoulder. The middle two fingers of the right hand should be primarily holding the grip, which will allow the golfer to be able to flex and extend their wrist quite easily and also be able to hinge up and down. There should also be a little gap between the last two fingers on the grip to emphasize this club being held in the fingers. There's three very common types of grips that the golfer commonly uses. The first one is the baseball grip, which simply sees the golfer hold the grip with all eight fingers and two thumbs holding the grip. The hands are close together. This is very good for golfers with smaller hands or for junior golfers just starting off golf. The second grip, which is more commonly used and sometimes among some of the better players in the world, is the interlocking grip which sees the golfer take the left index finger and interlock it with the small finger on the right hand. This grip is used by Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods and allows the golfer to be able to use the hands as a unit and also be able to get some speed through their wrists as well. The last grip, which is probably the most common, is the Vardon or the overlapping grip, which sees the golfer take the right small finger and rest it on top of their left index finger. 
all the other fingers will be held on the grip. This allows the club to be very much used as a unit and create a lot of speed at the same time. So I hope this video gives you an idea in some detail about how to grip the golf club correctly, the benefits that it can have to your ball striking and overall enjoyment of the game. So go ahead and try some of these things. I hope it works as well for you as it has for some of my students. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below.